Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Nigel Nigel is an English masculine name which developed from Nigellus, a medieval Latin form of Neil. Neil is actually an anglicized form of a long-enduring Gaelic name Neil, pronounced Neil, used since the Middle Ages in Ireland and the Scottish Highlands. Its root meaning is up for debate, but most etymologists believe it comes from a Gaelic words meaning one of three things, champion, cloud or passionate vehement. All agree, however, that the usage of Neil slash Neil started with a legendary late 4th slash early 5th century High King of Ireland known as Neil Noigilac, or Neil of the Nine Hostages, whose descendants from his UI Neil dynasty would go on to rule Ireland for another 600 years. In Neil's time, there were four kingdoms in Ireland Ulster, Munster, Leinster and Connacht, and the most powerful king of the four enjoyed more central authority over the others, known as the High King of Tara. Neil was born one of five princely sons of Eochaid Mugmadon, who held the distinction of being the High King of Tara. According to legend, the five sons were given a test to find water in order to determine which would inherit the throne. One by one, each brother came to a well of water guarded by a hideous old hag. They could only drink from the well if they agreed to kiss the repugnant woman, all refused. Only Neil passed the test when he agreed to the old lady's request for a kiss. Not only was Neil recognized as the rightful heir, but the ugly hag transformed into the most beautiful woman in all of Ireland. Bonus Points After inheriting his father's kingdom, Neil went about consolidating his power throughout the northern region of Ireland and dominating his enemies. He assisted the Scots and Picts in the Gaelic Dalriada settlement, western coast of Scotland, against the pestering Romans, subduing the opposition by taking royal hostages, hence the Nine Hostages. The most famous hostage taken by Neil during one of his raids was a young Roman citizen who would later be called St. Patrick. Neil of the Nine Hostages was indeed a legendary champion and clearly a passionate, vehement Irish warrior of his day. The name Neil eventually morphed into Neil and Neil, but it is also the root origin of Nigel and Nelson. Nigel represents the Latinized form of Neil, although it is sometimes associated with the Latin word Niger, meaning black. It wasn't until more modern times that Nigel found a wider audience in Great Britain, mostly due to Sir Walter Scott's 1822 novel The Fortunes of Nigel, see literary references below. Personality of the boy named Nigel The number 11 is a master number, and embodies heightened traits of the two. This personality is on a life journey to find spiritual truth. They are extremely idealistic and intuitive. Elevens have a rare and exceptional spiritual energy that brings a sense of obligation to illuminate the world around them. It's a very powerful responsibility, but these people have far more potential than they know. It's important that they surrender to higher ideals. They have the capacity to see the bigger picture, and they possess the skills to inspire others spiritually. Elevens have strong diplomatic skills and can become great peacemakers. Master numbers can be both a blessing and a curse, as they walk the fine line between greatness and the potential for self-destruction. Popularity of the boy named Nigel There's no two ways about it. Nigel is one of those quintessential English given names. OMG, it's so British it practically begs to be pronounced with an English accent. Although the name dates back to the Middle Ages in England, Nigel wouldn't cross the pond over to America until the 20th century in 1971. At first, the name showed promising success as he reached the middle of the top 1000 list, but then, after his peak popularity in the 1990s, old Nigel reversed his course. Usage of this name appears to have been just a minor and fleeting fad, Nigel dropped into obscurity very recently in 2011 when the name disappeared from the charts altogether. Out of circulation now, Nigel probably returned to England, where he's more comfortable. Some people think Nigel sounds just a little too British in that elitist, look down upon Americans sort of way. Americans like to use the name Nigel when making lighthearted fun of English people. Remember the lead guitarist for the band Spinal Tap, Nigel Tufnell, in the cult favorite 1984 mockumentary film This Is Spinal Tap? That's how we think of Nigel hilariously and unselfconsciously British. We think Nigel is the perfect name for a pet cat. Quick facts on Nigel. Gender, boy. Origin, English. Number of syllables, two. 
Ranking popularity, not applicable. Pronunciation, anyway July. Simple meaning, champion, cloud, passionate or black. Characteristics of Nigel. Spiritual teacher, extremely bright, inspirational, highly intuitive, truth seeker, uplifting. Cultural references to the baby name, Nigel. Literary characters of the baby name Nigel. Nigel Oliphant is the title character in Sir Walter Scott's 1822 novel, The Fortunes of Nigel. Nigel is a young Scottish lord who travels to the court of King James I in order to request protection of his estate through repayment of a royal debt to his father. Probably not a good idea to ask a king to pay you back. Caught up in the intrigues of court and victim to those who want his estate for themselves, Nigel is led astray. He endures many outrages before finding himself in the tower, having imposed bodily harm upon a member of the court. Not to worry, there is a damsel to come to the aid of his distress, Margaret Ramsay, the watchmaker's daughter, has taken a liking to him. She disguises 